I'm from the Caribbean, I'm from St. Lucia. It is really susceptible to all the ravages you hear about climate change. And I decided to use my knowledge in international trade law to begin teaching younger people about the impact of trade policy. I run a master's in trade policy course, and in particular we focus on the impact of trade policy in the Caribbean region, so increasingly things like sustainability challenges. What I currently do is think really creatively about how to transform the international trading system so that it gets really to address the needs of people and how we align international trade and the trading system with the Sustainable Development Goals. Now I'm part of a movement, I would call it, in collaboration with the Yale Institute for the Environment and Tufts University. Uh, we are collaborating as part of a project called Reforming the Global Trading System for a Sustainable Future. And part of that work is to bring together stakeholders from across a number of disciplines, international organizations, countries in the world, and get them to start thinking creatively about how trade policy should begin to interface with other systems of governance towards uh, achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. The question that we're asking ourselves as part of this work is, how do we actually align the rules so that we move companies and countries out of these unsustainable agricultural practices that are distortive and trade um, impactful? Um, and think about how to pattern behaviors using subsidies and industrial policy to gear these industries towards much more sort of sustainable practices. If the rules can be canvassed, or aligned to make countries more disposed towards fighting climate change through proactive trade policy and sustainable practices, then climate and biodiversity loss become sort of twin targets that work strategically and synergistically.